Hey there YouTubers, Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Uh, I want to talk to you about opening and uh, getting the name of a file. You can actually open up Windows Browser Tool and browse for the file that you're wanting and you can either you know manipulate it from there. You might just want to get the file location or file path name or whatever uh, and plop that into a cell for whatever reason or plop it into a user form uh, whatever you're wanting to do with that today I just want to show you how to quickly and easily get the text that is the file that you have selected so very quickly we'll make a macro we'll make a new one hitting alt F11 to go into the visual basic editor and I know we have a lot of modules right now but let's create a new one just to keep it fresh and clean and I will drag this down here and I'm going to scooch this and scrunch it a little bit here. Give us some work area but so we can still see what's going on. My goal is to put it in cell B2. So I'll just mark that quickly just for now with the yellow highlight. So again, Alt F11, we'll get back to the editor. We're going to create a new macro. We're going to call it subspace. Uh, we're going to call it... Uh, my file opener you can call this whatever you'd like alright so simply uh, you know what I take that back let's go ahead and use a worksheet event that way let's say somebody uh, either double clicks or right clicks on this cell that'd be pretty cool right so right click on your uh, tab there and go to view code that ensures that we are on the correct sheet right here and now let's do a worksheet event and uh, by default the worksheet selection change no we don't want to just do it when we single click there or click somewhere else we're going to do it on a before right click so because I just happen to want to right click on that cell and in fact, let's right click on it right now and insert a comment that says right click to browse. Yeah, makes sense, right? Right click on the cell to browse for your file. There we go. That's pretty cool. So, uh, getting back to our code, Alt F11. So, that we're going to say if. <laughs> How about this? If target dot address, some of you have seen me do this. If target dot address equals b two, then now let's take a look at why I did it that way. If I was using multiple cells that I was analyzing, I would use if not intersect target with uh, whatever range I was working with is nothing then in this case I only have one cell to worry about so I'm just gonna target is whatever cell that is selected or right clicked upon or whatever so if the target that I right clicked on in this case and its address its bare bones address so if I put a one here or a one there that would mean that it was an absolute reference so if I put a one here for example, and a one here, then I would have to have a dollar sign here, meaning absolutely column B and absolutely row two. So that's why I always put zero comma zero, and I just leave it at equals B two. So if if the target that I am affecting is B two, when I right click, then that's when I want to run this macro, and we'll go ahead and put an end if at the very end before we forget so if it is B2 then what are we going to do here's the magic thing that you're going to want to learn is uh, first of all let's just put our variable out there and then we'll learn the magic little thing you can do how about my file path equals okay here's the here's the thing that you want to remember and a lot of cool things happen whenever you type application dot but in this case we're going to use application dot get open file name you see that there 
So you can double click. I prefer to hit tab whenever it auto figures out what I'm wanting. And you can put arguments like uh, there's a filter where you can you have the user or yourself only see filtered types of files. And there's lots of things you can do with that. However, I'm not going to mess with the title or the button text or anything like this. I am merely going to put that right there. So whatever, this is going to open up the file browser and allow you to search for a file and it's going to pop it into this variable. So let's put a stop marker right here or just put the word stop in front of it. So let's, let's first of all, if I right click here, what happens? Nothing. Right click here, nothing. If I right click there, we have triggered our first part of our macro. So it is stopped here. It's waiting for me to proceed. So I'm going to hit F8 and see what this application dot get open file name really does. Pretty cool. Hit F8. Here's what it does. It opens up Windows um, br uh, file browser. So let us get. Let's open up the Force Unleashed cheat mode. There's some cheats there. So if I click open, did it actually open the file? No, it sure didn't. What it did was it took the file path, which is C, users, Daniel, and documents, and then TFU cheat mode dot doc x, and trapped it in this little variable that we said was going to be called my file path. If I hover over it, you can see where that is. So um, that's you. Could, we could take that right away and just pop that in cell B2. Let's say target equals my file path. Target, of course, is B2 where we just selected. That's why we can do that. Otherwise, we could say range B2 equals my file path. So uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's have the target cell become that. Watch what happens above. Hit F8. So now we've got that and I will go ahead and take out the stop marker. Now I do want to show you one thing that could go awry and what we're going to do to solve that. Uh, no, I will leave the stop there. So let's go ahead and also you notice that the right click menu finally shows up after all that is run. So those are two separate issues coming up here but I'm gonna right click again. This time I'm gonna hit cancel. What do you do if the, the user clicks the close button or hits cancel um, it says target equals false Ooh, that's gross so you can see if somebody cancels then the application dot get open file name becomes false so what we want to do is we want to say if my file path is false then target is blank and then otherwise, basically if they don't hit cancel, then go ahead and make it the actual file path that we were talking about. So that's uh, if user cancels. So that's what you do there. And so let's backtrack and do that part over. F8, so target is now blank. And that's more like it. Okay, hmm. so hit... Uh, F8 and now once again oh that pesky right click menu is showing up how do we get rid of that I'll show you I'll right click there again and I'll hit cancel again so nothing's really happening there however you see that uh, the worksheet underscore before right click has a target that we've clearly used that's the target cell as a range however after the comment says cancel is boolean so the variable cancel by default is false or yeah by default is false and it, seeing that it's boolean it can either be true or false so right now the cancel menu uh, or canceling our right click menu is false but if we want to if we do want to cancel that menu um, we can say cancel 
equals true. And so if I hit that right there, then it won't show the right click menu. So I'll hit F8 and show you that. No right click menu. No right click menu it pops up. So let's go ahead and do that one more time just for fun. We'll just find another file here. Wii Games. Okay. Click open. And then it is put the location of that file in the cell. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, lots of more that you can do with that, with or without user forms, with or without using cells. Uh, you can actually have it open that file using different commands, and, or you could have it uh, use that directory and find another directory from there. All kinds of things. So, thank you for watching.